Hi everybody, today we are talking on Utopia English Advanced Stand Unit 2 Communities. We are going to read today and uh, it is going to be devoted to topic Wikipedia. Do you use Wikipedia? Please read the articles and match the paragraphs to the heading. So we are going to have seven paragraphs and uh, seven headings. They are Why You Don't Trust Wikipedia, Jimmy Wales, the future of Wikipedia, editors who care, the wiki, locking out the vandals, first stop for fact seekers. So let's start. The text is called The Internet's Largest Encyclopedia. And uh, let's read. Want to know the capital of Turkmenistan, or how to make chicken fricassee, or what goes in a Cuban cigar? The first place you probably turn to is Wikipedia. Join the game. It's a game that now has access to over 18 million entries in 279 languages. And the striking thing about Wikipedia is that it isn't high-flying professors who are providing the answers. It's amateurs. Wikipedia is a perfect example of crowdsourcing. Anyone can add an entry. Anyone can edit it. No qualifications are necessary. In short, the site uses the masses to pull the information and the result is the world's biggest encyclopedia. So find the suitable, the matching heading for the paragraph. But is it the most reliable? Ask one of its founders, Larry Sanger, who went on to lecture at the High State University. And the answer is an unequivocal no. Sanger doesn't let his students use Wikipedia for their research. He knows they can simply invent information, put it anonymously on Wikipedia, and claim it's accurate. Other academics also have their doubts. One famously compared the site to a public toilet seat. You never know who has used it before you, but they are now probably in the minority. If it's so easy to edit, how come in several recent research studies Wikipedia has been found to be as accurate as other encyclopedias, including the Encyclopedia Britannica, which has existed for 250 years? How come, with all the potential vandals keen to rewrite history according to their own ideologies, Wikipedia, it turns out, is generally trustworthy? The answer is that the editors of Wikipedia care more than the vandals. The Massachusetts Institute of Technology did a study and found that obscene comments added on Wikipedia were on average removed within 100 seconds. For the vandals, it's about as worthwhile as a graffiti artist using invisible ink. Those who run Wikipedia are also savvy enough to know when a bout of vandalism is going to occur. During the 2004 Bosch Kerry U.S. election, uh, realizing that the supporters of each candidate would attempt to smear the opponent of Wikipedia, the company locked the entries on George Bush and John Kerry. So in this utopia of crowdsourcing, who exactly is making the decisions, the boss is founded Jim Wales. In 2000, Wales was a regular guy looking to combine his two hobbies, nosing through the Encyclopedia Britannica and surfing the internet. Online, he found himself discussing all sorts of topics and meeting all sorts of people on obscure mailing lists. He decided he wanted to set up something longer lasting and fun. Fun is a big word for Jimmy Wells, one of the world's great optimists. Wells has breezed through life enjoying pretty much everything he's turned his hand to, including trading options and futures and founding Wikipedia's 
on Nepiria didn't have a massive impact. It used the old model of experts writing entries by Ben Wells and his co-founder Larry Senge decided to experiment with a relatively new technology, a wiki. The wiki got its name because the inventor had his honeymoon in Hawaii where you catch the wiki wiki quick bus from the airport. Uh, the idea of a wiki is that anyone can contribute to a website. It's a pooling of knowledge. With this technology in place, Wikipedia exploded in popularity. Within its first year, contributors wrote 20,000 entries in 18 languages. And the future, for most of its short history, the Wikipedia has been stuffed by a group of volunteers with only a handful actually getting fed. By 2011, the company's fed employees had grown to over 50. It will surely need more in the future as the company tries to expand its popularity in Asia, South America and the Middle East. It's also trying to improve the quality of entries by teaming up with universities to get some expert input and working with museums to spread better images. As the world shrinks and people thirst for information grows, it's likely that Wikipedia will keep growing too. As for the capital of Turkmenistan, it's Ashgabat. And if you need proof, you know where to look. Okay, and now please answer the questions. What expression in the article is used to describe groups combining their knowledge? Why, according to the article, is Wikipedia generally reliable? Who is Jimmy Wells and what is he like? What technological innovation led to the popularity of Wikipedia? Look at the techniques one for. Are they generally used in formal or informal texts? Full verb forms. Lots of phrasal verbs. Sentences beginning with and or, but. Repeated use of the passive. So full verb forms are formal texts. Lots of phrasal verbs are informal texts. Sentences beginning with and or but is informal texts. And repeated use of the passive is formal texts. Okay, and is the article informal or informal style? Here we are given four groups of words and we should name them. The names are humor, informal vocabulary, style spoken English, ellipses, omitting words. Savvy and Guy. Join the going, it's again. It surely need more. Want to know the capital of Turkmenistan? And the future? One famously compared the site to a public toilet seat. You never know who has used it before you. So please send your answers to me. Here we are given a lot of words and uh, let's read them. Regards, don't hesitate to, following, queries, a previous arrangement, we would be grateful if you could, 
attend concerning requested will be unable to attend I will be very happy to attend could you please confirm your attendance okay and uh, we will read the letter written by women and we should replace some of the phrases with these words Dear Mr. Fry, after a telephone conversation, I would like to invite you to the meeting of the online Encyclopedia Anglia Group on November 15th at 7 p.m. at 24 Blunt Street. We will be discussing how to make forward the proposals for a new interactive website. I have attended the preliminary agenda for the meeting and also a map showing how to get to Blunt Street. There will be also a dinner in the evening to which you are invited. Let us know if you are coming by the 4th of November, bringing copies of the sample contract. Feel free to get in touch if you have any questions. Best wishes, Mary Johnson. So you should transform this letter into a more appropriate form. Send your answers to me. And the next step, the answer of this girl, woman, Dear Ms. Johnson, thank you very much for invitation to come to the meeting on the 15th of November about the plan to start a new website. Thanks for the agenda, I can come to the meeting. As asked, I will bring copies of the sample contract. Unfortunately, I won't be able to come to the dinner because of something I have already organized. I look forward to seeing you there. Yours sincerely, Peter Fry. And uh, when you're planning a piece of writing, think about two your readers and, and consider the following points. Why are they reading your piece? How much information do they already know? How much do they need to know? What are their expectations? How formal and what length do they expect the piece to be? What is the relationship between writer and reader? And this information will help you to choose the best tone for your piece, formal, informal, or academic, to organize your ideas and to think about what to include or omit. Uh, 